Seabirds, oh, there the boat bird goes flying in the opposite direction of what we're pointing. Big wingspan there. That's North America's largest resident bird of prey. Typically 10 or 12 pounds an adult. When you see them in flight, wingspan is uh, between 6 and 8 feet. Interesting on uh, rock formations uh, left behind here as the water slowly erodes this rock away. Oh, apparently, we've got a sea otter over here to the left of us. He looks pretty pleased with himself to have a feast this big. When they're foraging, they actually dive down to the seafloor. They'll pat around on the bottom of the water, bottom of the ocean, and they'll for a little floor So they actually swim down there with their eyes closed. Puffins up on the rocks here. Over the last couple days, there's been a lot of puffins out on their porches, sort of standing out uh, right in the open, out uh, in front of their nesting areas, which is uh, probably a prelude to departure time here. Birds sitting up here with the long orange beaks cream-colored legs. Those are black oyster catchers. They're an interesting bird. Not a particularly rare bird throughout a lot of their range here along the Pacific Coast. Now, the murs are uh, odd birds in a lot of ways. They don't build a nest. That's the way they're in, right on the rock. I'm talking to you, I think they incubate it. It's the same way they might. But the nest, the egg itself is so uh, it's sort of a parachute egg, so you bump into it. Then the rock just sort of rolls around in a small circle without the interesting to see where they end up after a couple days of uh, bigger seas rolling through here. Keep moving uphill, trying to get away from the water washing up against them. After a while, they get to a point where they're pretty much high and dry. So the belts, this time of year, the big bulls, uh, the breeding males, actually leave these areas. So during, during the breeding season, going through June and the first part of July, a lot of the uh, big bulls will be up on the rocks. They get very territorial and then a lot of cases won't leave the rocks, otherwise they have to fight to get their space back again. So they'll uh, stay up on shore for literally several weeks at a time. Oh, it's a beautiful look today. Waves just pounding up against the rocks here, and the sun shining down on the Cape Resurrection, Barwell Island, off in the distance. 